You get busted with those toys, you're done. And you made me an accessory. Well, you know what they say, some accessories are required. Am I smiling? No. Welcome back. That was a clip from Jingle Smells, a new Christmas movie about what happens when a vigilante Santa saves the holidays in a small town. We are so lucky to have the star here with us now. Please welcome TV legend John Schneider. Yes. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, I am in a car. I am in a car, which is kind of how it worked out. I heard you were it golfing, and you had to leave your incredible golf game to come speak with us. Yeah, apparently, he was doing well. <laughs> I was, which is so shocking. It's, it's so shocking. But yes, but I'm going to go back. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not going to leave. I'm going to go back. Yeah, right. But hey, thank you for having me. Thank you for having me on here. This, this movie is so much fun. Because uh, one of the things that it does that really isn't in that little trailer is the reason why there are toys for this particular Santa, who is my delinquent son, uh, that I get a job <laughs> in the sanitation department. And he smells ergo jingle <laughs> smells but the reason why he has all these toys to be able to distribute to the kids is because there's a wrestler that all of a sudden went crazy and became conservative and got canceled so the toy company toy company throws all the toys away and my son finds them so it's uh it's against cancel culture it's a, it's a wonderful uh, wake up call to the woke if you will and uh it's it's so much fun uh Jay Seculo and his son, Logan Seculo, are part of it, and uh, they're the ones that got me involved, and I've known, uh, well, Jay for 35 years. All right, well, I, we talk about cancel culture all the time on this show, so we get it, but are there any other holiday movies that you like to watch every year, kind of a tradition? Well, you know, it's a good old miracle on 34th Street, yes. and of course, uh, 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 oh gosh, what is it? The Will Ferrell one that's so funny, Elf. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Call me an Elf. Call me an elf one more time. <laughs> but uh, this is this this has been a big a big year for me. You know, this has been a a, a rough year, and I'm trying to make chicken salad out of it. Aww. So um, we have a, we have a book, my bride and I did called In the Driver's Seat, that will help you if you've been diagnosed with cancer. It will help you. It will help your your family get through it. Put you in charge of what's going on. Be the dog rather than the tail. Uh, then I have a new tribute album I just did to her called We're Still Us uh, and this movie. So uh, all are available at johnschneiderstudios.com. And uh, it's, it's, it's making uh, the, the roughest year of my life a little bit better. Well, we're very sorry about your loss. Is this album helping you through the grieving process? It is. It, uh, writing it really helped me through the grieving process. I sat with uh, some dear friends of mine in Nashville and uh, gave them the truth, my truth, you know, how I was feeling, what grief feels like. Because people make a mistake. They think grief is just is like a lot of sorrow or big sorrow. Grief is an entirely different yeah. animal. And, uh, and sadly, I've been put in charge, I guess, at least for this period of time. Um, by God to help people navigate through it. Wow. Uh, and in, in so doing, it helps me. So the, uh, the album is very, very helpful. The book is very, very helpful. Because right. we, we were writing it together and then after, after she passed, I, I finished it. It was like, truly, it was like God tapped me on the shoulder and said, John, cry and then finish the book right. and then do an album. Wow, and John, um, you know, she, she lives on and you know, you said something earlier that you called her your bride. That's something my grandfather oh, yeah. used to call my grandmother his bride, and you can just tell the love that you and that you and uh, Alicia shared um, just by you speaking about her. Um, I want to talk. Oh my gosh! Thank you. I know. I want to talk more about her book, and I know that a lot of people right now during the holidays, and I'm sure you can speak to this. When you do lose someone you love, it's hard to look at that empty seat at the table, whether it's at Thanksgiving or Christmas or Hanukkah. Um, your book, yeah. though. Uh, that you guys wrote together, how, in your opinion, I mean, it's called In the Driver's Seat and it just came yes. out, but it's about living with no regrets. How did she Correct. do that? And how does she still inspire you every day? She absolutely did that. And, and in, in taking charge of her own diagnosis, which that sounds so simple, but most people don't. Most people, when, when someone in a white coat says you have cancer, most people shut off all of their defense mechanisms and just do as they're told. But I, I, I'm not saying anything bad against the cancer industry, but an oncologist has a thousand patients and you and your bride right. have one. Right. Okay. 
So you must be you must be in charge of that diagnosis. You must learn everything you can about the kind of cancer you have, and you must go take an active part in your cure. Right. Uh, we did that. It and, and we were it, we were she she was not supposed to be around very long from that first conversation, and she was around five years after. Oh, it. So we yeah. we we took it by the horns. We beat it. And uh, and then it came it came back and I think um, I think we got a little cocky. It's in there. We were racing dirt track cars. I mean, she was Alicia Elaine Schneider was tough as a Waffle House steak. Okay, <laughs> my, my bride was my bride was tough, tough, tough. And there are people now that I see every day that she came in contact with, and she helped them get in charge of their diagnosis. Right. They're still here. Wow. You know, so it's it's. If you just give in, you'll give out. Hmm. So don't do that. And I feel as if, as, as her husband, I was, I was part of keeping her around. I wasn't just there, you know, kind of in the background. We were a team. We right. called ourselves the team to beat. So if you're going through this, um, then get a hold of this book because it will give you the courage to take charge of your own diagnosis. Mm. I promise. Wow. I promise. Oh and it'll help those loved ones around you navigate what's going on, too. Because it's not just something that happens to the patient. This happens to everybody, if everybody involved. Anyone who loves you, if you have cancer, will be involved in your diagnosis. Okay. Oof. Yep, you are so right. Uh, John, wow. you're trying to take care of everybody else. Make sure you take care of yourself, Amen too. Amen to that. Like, don't, don't hold those tears back. We can yep. see it in your face. You got to let I that know. out, bro. So <laughs> much love. I, I've well, been there, man. So I, I, we're with you, man. You can, and to our, I appreciate it. Oh, my God. John, yeah, okay, uh, to our viewers out okay, there, DBL dog. Nation, you can pick up John's new album, We're Still Us. You can also pick up Alicia's book, In the Driver's Seat, available now at johnschneiderstudios.com. And, of course, check out John and Jingle Smells, available now on Rumble. Thank Jingle you, John. Smells. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, John. Merry Christmas. We appreciate Thank you. you. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you, too. Hold on to those you love. Hold Amen. them tight. Yes, yep. sir. Absolutely. Thank you. Bye.